Find the parametric and symmetric equations of the line L passing through the point 356 and parallel to this vector here. All we have to do is use the formula for parametric equations. So x is equal to x1 plus at. y is equal to y1 plus bt. And z is equal to z1 plus ct. And in this problem, this is our x1, this is our y1, and this is our z1. And here, this is a, b, and c. These are called direction numbers, and sometimes this is called a direction vector. So all we have to do is plug everything in. So let's see, we said x1 was 3, so 3, plus a, which is 1, so simply 1 times t is t. y is equal to y1, we said that was 5, so this is 5, and then it looks like it's, whoops, minus 2t. And then z is equal to 6, and then c is 4, so 4t. So our parametric equations are x equals 3 plus t, y equals 5 minus 2t, and z equals 6 plus 4t. Now we have to find the symmetric equations. Now we can only find the symmetric equations when all of these guys are non-zero, and they are, and so we're able to find these. So how do you find these? Well, I guess you could memorize the formula. Uh, let me try to explain how to come up with them. If we solve this for t, we get t equals x minus 3. If we solve this for t, let's see if we can do it in one step. We would subtract the 5, so we would get y minus 5, and then we would divide by negative 2. And if we solve this for t, we get t equals, let's see, z minus 6, then we would divide by 4. And so these are the symmetric equations, and they're all equal, right? x minus 3, well, all of these are t, so all of these are equal. So equals y minus 5 over negative 2 equals z minus 6 over 4. So those are the symmetric equations, and these here are the parametric equations. I hope that made sense.